what is up y'all so i am in my home kitchen and um we've been watching quite a bit of uh bon appetit lately and they just um put out an episode a little bit ago about kitchens and your home kitchen and i've had people ask me questions before about my kitchen um we used to entertain quite a lot and people had questions about cooking and different things like that and so I'm gonna try to address some of those questions um, but I think the first thing that I'd like to do is um, to walk you through my kitchen and the things that are important to me in my kitchen and so in true um, Bon Appetit style um, if they don't mind me saying so um, uh, yeah let's get started um so this is uh well this is this is um looking towards the garage door um down the kitchen so we've got the stove on this side and we do have things things are happening okay down at the um down on this side of the counter so um <laughs> i'll explain those just a little bit and then we've got like sink out looking the window and um cupboard space and then pantry, um, pantry space, oven, and microwave. So, um, uh, yeah, in order of things. So it's always really important to me to have um, uh, your hand go, obviously, to the things that you need. And maybe it just comes from <sighs> growing up in a kitchen that was regularly pretty organized. Um, it's very obvious to me. Um, where I grab like for silverware and different things like that like my hand just kind of knows um, where that should go so when I walk into a kitchen and I pull open where I think the silverware should be and it's not there I'm like wait where's the spoons you know like or where are the forks where how, how am I gonna get this food to my mouth I'll just eat with my fingers it's fine but it's like so um, it's always really important to me to have everything together and to have it um, make sense and everybody does their kitchens differently but um yeah so we'll start we'll start down at the end so coffee situation coffee grinder we grind our coffee every morning um we've got a uh, fruit bowl with um tomatoes as well to keep them out of the fridge um they stay a uh, good a really long time and especially with these heirlooms it doesn't kind of freeze up the flavor um we just got some really great seed bread from central market and we've got a place in our pantry for bread but <laughs> Um, we didn't want to forget that we had it so that it wouldn't go moldy. Like, we don't want it to go moldy. So we've got bowls, bowls and plates, um, including bowl plates, which are one of my very, very favorite things to eat out of, except for you have to wash them by hand. Um, they look like this. They were painted in Portugal. I got them for a gift for my one of my jobs, and it is literally a bowl plate. It is a plate that is also a bowl. You can eat pasta out of it, stews, all the great things. It's one of my favorite, um, yeah, one of my favorite eating dishes. Um, but I have lots of favorite eating dishes. My kitchen is one of my very favorite places. So we've got more bowls and um, plates just for every day and little um, casserole dishes that you can actually put in the oven. Um, toaster. Uh, soap, pineapple, everything in its place. Something that I've actually just added to my kitchen is this great little bottle right here. So um, I've made two additions to my kitchen since we got back from Napa. Um, one is an olive oil bottle, and I'll show you that in a minute. And one is this bottle right here. It's got uh, apple cider vinegar mixed with water, and it's a fruit wash, fruit and veg. So there's that. Um, this actually, for all my plant people out there, this is marjoram that I'm um, growing roots on. Check that out. So, woo, woo. so I have to water it, like rewater it every day. But we're growing little roots so I can have extra plants. Um, sink, place for dishes. This is actually where I, for some reason, this is like a really warm spot. Um, knife block, super important to have some good knives. Um, we've actually got to sharpen ours. Um, and then these are drying right now, but this is actually my proving space. 
um, for all of my breads because for some reason it's really warm there and everything proves evenly. I can't do it on um, my stove because it comes, the air comes from the outside, so it's really strange. And I'm actually gonna turn off, turn off the stove here a minute. Um, so yeah, um, dishwasher, great times. Underneath here, cleaning supplies. Um, under here are all of our Tupperware containers, and it's a little bit messy. You know, not every cook's got everything, all everything figured out, um, including like old towels and things. That's what's down there. Um, and then, let's see, back up over here, we've got like cups and mugs. Um, yeah, dishwasher towel my mom got for me for Easter times, and I absolutely love it. It's so sweet. So it's it's here in my Easter my Easter my Easter business. Um, and then let's do let's do like little fridge times. So on my fridge always, and my mother is gonna like my mom knows this, but she laughed a little bit when she realized that I continued doing it. I have a um, list, and so my list is always on the fridge. It is, it mostly always has something on it, but sometimes it doesn't, but it's always here and it helps me know what I'm out of because I hate running out of things. And Jeremy will tell you, like, I have backups for backups about, like, specifically butter, which you'll notice, like, butter is on this list. Butter's almost always on the list and eggs always on the list for whatever reason. Um, I do eat a lot of eggs and I do eat a lot of butter, but it's, it's one of the real things. Uh, lots of pens for writing lists. Extra bottles of wine. My shaker bottle for my greens that I drink every morning. Tiny little teapot, which is my favorite. Good for teas. Um, if we did pour overs, we would do, you know, it's a pour over pot. But it's great for tea because you can pour the water right on the little tea bag and you get great tea out of it. Um, and then, yeah, fridge, fridge fam. Uh, so our fridge is actually kind of a smorgasbord right now. Just a quick look in there. It's really, it's kind of a mess. So, you know, Joe, don't judge a cook by the fridge, maybe. But there's really important things in here, I promise. Some of it is takeout. Uh, Indian takeout is about a third of it, I feel like, right now. <laughs> it was delicious, but there were some leftovers. Um, so staples in our house that uh, I always have are butter, and this is, like, almost entirely butter. You notice we've got, like, uh, probably two pounds of butter, and butter is on the list. So, but this is real times. Um, we always have, like, certain condiments. We've always got um, almond milk. Um, I've always got half and half. I've always got cheese. Uh, not particularly because we eat a lot of it, but just because, um, any, like you can really, really fix up a recipe really fast by adding a little bit of fat or adding a little bit of acid. So I like to have vinegars. I like to have lemon. I like to have limes. I like to have, um, uh, like hot, hot like spicy things, a little bit of sugar, you know, so um, easy ways to fix up a recipe, acid, fat, um, heat, salt, it's like a, it's like a Netflix thing, and um, a little bit of sweetness um, can fix up something that's kind of gone awry if when you're cooking and you're like, what just happened? Um, so uh, lots of craft singles, uh, that has become a staple in our house because both of the dogs um, are on medicine, and so we wrap their food or their medicine in cheese. And then um, fruits and veggies. So this has always got, um, we just actually restocked it. It's got quite a bit of veggies in there. Right now, it particularly, um, since I'm gonna be doing like an Easter ham, not today, but like this week, I will be doing an Easter ham. Um, carrots, celery, onion, always gotta have it. Um, I've got to, I know I'm walking in circles, I'm sorry, I'm probably making you guys dizzy. I just realized, so I'm making um, crispy smashed potatoes today, and um, I have boiled the potatoes, but I have not poured them out of the water, and so they're probably continuing to cook, and I don't want that. So, um, let me 
I'm gonna slide this in right here. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna dump out these potatoes. Okay. See, that wasn't so bad. All right. So crispy smashed potatoes. We made some red potatoes and salted water, and that's probably steamy. Um, but anyway, they needed to come out of that water. So we did fridge things. Um, this is my countertop. Things I always have the on the countertop. Um, our love statue, or like my love statue. That is, this is the love part of our house. I'm a very fun kind of girl. Um, and so little bits and pieces mean things to me. And uh, this used to be in a different place in my apartment and then when we came here this was the place that it was supposed to go so that's where it is um stove oh sugar jar sugar for my sugar uh, that has uh, actually all the pups treats in it um a little bowl full of catchy all things keys and all that jazz we've got a junk drawer don't look too long um all of our tools and things and then this is all stovetop. So you'll notice we've got like a set of pans. We've got some great skillets. Some of them are enameled. We've got some um, sifters. My two Le Creuset pans, this one on top is like prime. Um, it's the one I use the most. But all that jazz, all of that is on, is for stovetop things. And then I've got the next underneath is for all baking things. So baking and mixing. So here's my mixing bowls, cutting boards, scale, one of the scales, and measuring cups and things. So minus the ones that I've used just recently. Um, all of our uh, sill pads and oven mitts. And then this is actually our grill drawer. So um, this has matches and um, grills, like all the things that Jeremy uses to grill. Thermometers and all sorts of things that I don't understand. But he's great at grilling, so that's that's awesome. Um, yeah, stove top, four burner. We haven't found ourselves, like we have dreams of having a bigger stove, but this is a great size for us. Um, I made some rolls last night. So those will be delish a little bit later today. And then this is my mess from rolls last night and then from pie crust this morning. And I just kind of left it out. So normally this would be cleaned up. The scale would be under the counter and things. I think um, one of the things that I really like is having everything have a place and have it not normally be on the counter. There's a lot of things um, they just don't need to be out all the time. If you use it, keep it out. If you use it every day, keep it out. But if you don't, put it away into a place because you'll be able to breathe in your space better. And I, you know, I firmly believe that. So things that are always out on my countertop are a spoon rest, and we wash this with the dishes, butter dish, and this is the butter knife that we've been using for banana bread because I made banana bread uh, yesterday. Uh, salt and pepper and then this guy right here um, is my next my other um, addition to my kitchen since Napa and this is actually from Shramsburg this was the very first bubbly white ever in the Napa Valley the Blanc de Blancs and people weren't keen like people didn't think that it could do they didn't think it could happen like the guy got dogged on for it and it's delicious and um, I wanted to purchase a bottle and then I realized I was like drinking this on a patio trying to figure out what I wanted my bottle to look like and then I went wait I can buy these little lids online and so I took the this home I sanitized it EVOO um, and I absolutely love having it on our counter um, the other thing that I've added in the last couple of months is a salt is a salt container with kosher salt. Jeremy has been trying to get me to have a little coat, a little salt urn for a very long time, um, and I finally came around to it. And boy, is it like winning! Salt on the counter, so you can get a big old pinch, 
is so much easier than using that ratchet. And I love this ratchet. Like these ratchets, I don't have any problem with these. They're, um, they're fantastic. But being able to grab a little pinch, pretty good. Um, the other things that we have on the counter all the time, uh, honey, uh, that's like a childhood thing. I can't, I can't explain that. Sometimes I use it every day. Most of the times it's in the cupboard, but there's something really cozy about a honey bear. So sometimes I just leave it out because it makes me feel good. I don't know. And then um, my mortar and pestle. So the mortar and pestle stays out all the time. Most commonly I use it for cracked pepper, but right now it's got lavender in it to dry um, because I was working on making some uh, lavender goat cheese and um so this was for my plants is outside and i decided just to kind of leave it there um so yeah uh that's the counter coffee pot um plant you know uh alexa uh video alexa she's on the counter now i'm really okay with it i wasn't sure that i was going to be but it's all right i'm not I'm not too upset about it now so microwave and stove we don't use the microwave really very often at all um but it's useful for microwave popcorn. Although I can make it on the stove. I don't know. We don't use it a lot. Probably mostly for popcorn and also for steam bag veg. Okay. So this was um, little uh, appliances and things. Now it has salt or it has tomato, tomatoes, beans, peas, and um stock potatoes things from costco that we can't fit anywhere else um, because we've been ordering from costco uh the reason why i was able to do that and i'm super excited about it is because if you go through the garage door jeremy bought a set of shelves that we can put in our garage that has all of our kitchen stuff on it and it makes me so excited so now we've got you know my kitchen aid goes out here uh, our food processor that we just got goes out here. The Instapot goes out here. It looks like a blender, um, cold brew machine. Um, <laughs> this punch bowl that I bought from an estate sale. Yes, I'm that guy. Like I'm that lady that went to an estate sale and purchased a, <laughs> a punch bowl with punch bowl cups to match. I don't even know, but it was green and I couldn't say no. So anyway, recycling right outside the door easy peasy recycle it's good for you um and yeah i mean that's pretty much it my pans and things are low here um with a rolling pin and grates and things we've got a pantry um which i'm really grateful for i had i was fortunate enough to have one in my apartment before but this one is a little bit bigger and we're able to you know stash our oats all of my vinegars and oils, um, hot stuff and Nutella, all of our coffee stuff, tea, um, and then into bread, tostadas, cereal, crackers, and um, oats. So that is up here and on the bottom is all of my baking and spices. So this is storage things, baking things, um, backups, but also flour because they're super heavy. Um, I've got some recipes in mind for things. I know that that looks insane. Um, this might be the bane of Jeremy's existence. This is my spice situation. And I mostly know where all the things are in my spice cupboard. But Jeremy cued me in the other day that he has no idea where anything is in my spice cupboard because he doesn't think there's any method to the madness. There's a little bit of a method, not a lot, but mostly I just remember where I put them the last time I used them. And so I'm like, oh yeah, it's right here. So that might be a thing while we've got some time at home that I might uh, figure out a method to my spice madness because sometimes I can't even find stuff. It's real. And then um, snick snacks. We actually aren't like super snacky people. So most of these snacks are like old. The only thing that's not old are these mints. 
because Jeremy eats like a thousand of these a day. So we have a ton of mints and they're all fresh. They're all new. So, but the rest of them, like I said, we're just not super snacky people. We try to snack on like fruits if we can, um, or vegetables or yeah, I don't know. We eat meals. I, <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's my kitchen. So, uh, I'm hoping to do like more kitcheny things. Um, if you guys have any questions about what you saw, I know this is kind of like a mad dash. Um, but I hope your Easter is super cozy. Uh, I hope you know that I want you all in my kitchen, which is probably one of the reasons why I made this video today. Um, is because I'm missing everybody so bad. And I love having a bustling, um, warm kitchen full of laughter and um, games and stories and life. And I'm really, really um, looking forward to having that in the future. So um, that is that is my kitchen. Um, and I will, yeah, hopefully you guys will all be in it really, really soon. Happy Easter, everyone.